A win for Celtic would set up two new Scottish records for home matches without defeat. Bobo Baldy returned from the African Nations Cup and a 4-4-2 starting formation which quickly reverted to a back three. John Hartson though still missing with a back injury. The last time Dundee United beat Celtic in Glasgow was Boxing Day 1992. Duncan Ferguson scored the winner that day. Ian McCall's side were without the suspended Chris Innes and Andy McLaren. Stuart Duff returned at Innes's place in what was expected to be a hard-pressed United defence. The referee at Celtic Park yesterday was Ian Fife. Our commentator was Paul Mitchell. Right footed in. Dundee United players were shouting for handball. Referee Ian Fife had a good look and allowed play to continue. And the ball comes in. Chance comes down, Vaga! Celtic's best chance so far. Ball came in, it was nodded down, and Vaga, looking for the far post, was knocked down to him by Chris Sutton. Just pulled the ball wide, though. Here comes Dundee United, Bobo Baldy comes across, that's a poor clearance. Billy Dodds goes in there, Robert Douglas comes out with his head. That's going to be returned by Charlie Miller, on to Billy Dodds. Dodds plays it through, chance here for Tim McIntyre! And Robert Douglas gets himself out of trouble with the save. Well, Robert Douglas, for some reason, didn't choose to hold the ball, came with his head. Billy Dodds had a great ball forward, on to McIntyre. And the save was made. A beautiful play by Mark Wilson. And the free kick is awarded. Look at this play from Wilson. Clipped it inside, took the touch, and really there was no free kick there. I think Jackie McNamara rightly agree if they're Jackie McNamara. Harry Robson fires the ball in the touch and it's in and Alan Archibald scores for Dundee United ball swung in Alan Archibald got the touch got the ball away from Robert Douglas a second of the season for Alan Archibald Varga didn't make the header and Dundee United have the lead after an hour here comes Celtic now they'll try and take it up a notch Didier Gatt, looking further and further forward, played it across, Alan Archibald knocks the ball out of play. Ball comes in, two, three players there, and eventually Stan Varga with a header, and Gallagher makes the stop. Well, Alan Thompson's corner came in, a couple of players missed it for United, Varga from point blank range hit the goalkeeper. Brian Kidd on a spying mission on behalf of England and Sven Goran Eriksson looking at that man, Alan Thompson. Pushed in, Varga, locks him with the header, great save from the goalkeeper. Varga knocked it in, Henrik Larsson and the fingertips of Gallica turned the ball away. Celtic fans. Well, they were looking for 23 consecutive wins. They're looking at the first league defeat at the moment. Here comes Sutton. Sutton plays it across. Maloney! Sean Maloney gets Celtic level with just over nine minutes to go. It was a lovely ball through. Chris Sutton held it up. And Sean Maloney was there to push the ball into the back of the net. Maloney celebrates, Celtic are level, Celtic won, Dundee United won. So Celtic looking for the winner. Referee says that's a penalty. Duff takes down Petrov and referee Ian Fife said that's a penalty kick. So Celtic who scored, and it's 60 seconds ago. Score again! Chris Sutton has turned around from the penalty spot, and Celtic up the lead for the first time in the afternoon. Sutton, on 
to Maloney, the two goal scorers combined. And the challenge came in there from Billy Dodds. Well, he's been booked already. Yellow for a second time means red for Billy Dodds. The challenge from Dodds, Rick Maloney to the ground. And that is second book of all fans. And Billy Dodds is red carded. I wouldn't look absolutely improbable. I can't say impossible because the, the, these players just they, they keep producing. When we're not playing well, we, 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 we find it from somewhere to, 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 to conjure enough effort and energy to go and get a goal. And, uh, and then when we got that goal, it was almost as if the shackles had been thrown off and, and we go and, and, and score again. Just delighted to have won the match. We must. I thought the best chance of the second half, you know, we should have scored that and I, I thought, I hope to, to be proved right on TV with a, a stone wall penalty kick not given in the first half, a stone wall penalty kick. This was a handball? A handball, yeah, I mean, it's, and it's not as if it's hit the boy, the boy's lifted his hand and, and punched it away, so uh, we're disappointed at that and then they get a penalty and I think uh, Petrov was quite clever.